everybody, I'm Dr. Angel Storm. Thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel. Today I'm here with my chiropractor, Dr. West. He is here to talk to us about why chiropractic health is so important for everybody, but especially people who have gone through or are going through trauma. And so, Wes, thank you so much for being with me. Absolutely. Thanks for the My adjustment. Pleasure. I feel so good now. Of course. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> these knots and these little tender spots or trigger points or however we want to refer to them are, you know, repetitive movement or, you know, repetitive or like long-term posture type things. Wow. Um, and unfortunately, they, they form over a you know, a long period of time whenever you're not even thinking about them being there. And so because, you know, something like this, it may be a little bit posture related like formed mm -hmm. over such a long period of time. Wow. It's just that much harder for it to form to go away. That's so interesting because your brain works the exact same way. Yep. And tell me about chiropractic care. Why did you get into it? You know, what is appealing to you about chiropractic care and what can regular people, healthy people expect from seeing a chiropractor regularly? Yeah. Um, so to start off, I got into chiropractic care because I hate reading and I'm terrible at math. Uh, <laughs> somewhat Great. of a joke, but, um, also just kind of always had an interest and a knack for sciences like anatomy and physiology. So I kind of knew pretty early on that I wanted to do some sort of physical medicine, mm. um, whether that was chiropractic care, physical therapy, kind of whatever. Um, but then just my timeline kind of lined up better for chiropractic school. And so um, I went for it. Yeah. Um, as far as, you know, what chiropractic care is, a lot of people associate the word chiropractic or chiropractor with an adjustment. Um, mm -hmm. Technically speaking, the word chiropractic just means done by hand. Um, and so chiropractic care is not necessarily synonymous with an adjustment. Most chiropractors do adjust people, huh. um, but it includes, you know, tissue work, adjustments, mm -hmm. rehab, yeah. um, kinesiology taping, you know, all different kinds of things um, to, you know, help with pain, help with um, mobility issues and all that yes. stuff. Yeah, when we worked together in the past, like, when, especially when I do heavy legs, like we've done really deep tissue massages, you know, today you did the, the cupping on my shoulder, so yeah, there's a lot of other things that chiropractors do other than just adjusting, which does feel so good, but. Yeah. Um, so, chiropractors, um, and we were talking about this during my adjustment, actually help bring the alignment of your nervous system together along with your skeletal system right and how would that benefit somebody who needs to process trauma or is going through something where their their brain and their mind are forming connections with their external environment in such a way that is causing them a physical reaction yeah um, so kind of the heart of the adjustment brings just a huge afferent like stimulus meaning from the outside in um, and so among other things there's you know pain reduction with that um, there is the neurological stimulus that you had mentioned um, and with that releases enkephalin which is basically like the short-term version of endorphins um, which you know improve mood again help decrease pain um, just kind of help regulate um, tissue tone, mm -hmm. the autonomic nervous system, which is the stuff that the nervous system that does things that you know you're not conscious about. Um, and so, yeah, those are for someone who's been through trauma and um, you know that type of thing. You tend to somaticize things, meaning you know you take this emotional um, or you know even somewhat physical traumas you've been through and it manifests in your body as pain um, and so a lot of times that those emotions and that pain kind of go hand in hand to where um, you can attack it from an emotional side or you can attack it from the physical side and a lot of times you'll see kind of positive benefits on both sides no matter which one you come from yeah that's right so with, I 
by using a chiropractor, you can actually get benefits for your physical body, of course, like we were talking about making sure everything, sure everything is in alignment, uh, making sure everything moves in, in proper form, but also it helps process through emotional trauma and gives your body the ability to release stuff that we would normally store in our body. People who sit tense all of the time, for example, like this, you know, you help them to be able to do that. So of course that would work with people who store it like that emotionally, you know, for an emotional yeah. reason, just as much as for a posture reason. Absolutely. So I love that. That's yeah. great. And, um, and even chiropractic care has been used. I'm a veteran and, um, and has been used for vets with PTSD, you know, to help them process and let their body physically release the tension of whatever trauma that they experienced. Exactly. Yeah. And that's one thing that um, the chiropractic profession in the last five or ten years, I've only been involved in it in for four and a half or five, but um, has we've been pushing for mm. chiropractic care to be more readily available because, you know, in the heart of the opioid epidemic and, you know, taking chemicals into your body and that type of thing, are there situations where that helps, but also... If someone comes in with low back pain, mm. muscle relaxers and painkillers probably aren't going to actually fix their problem. You're just putting a band-aid on it. Yeah. Um, and so unfortunately, when you run out of those muscle relaxers and those painkillers, if you haven't fixed what's actually causing that pain, then you just go go back for more. Yeah, that's so. exact. And more m more is in quantity and all also as in like amount the dosage amount yeah. right so it's like it's this never-ending step ladder that you're on yeah you know um we were talking too they did a study that showed 70 percent of people with chronic back issues actually healed themselves through therapy yeah because it has to do with the way you know we were talking too like it's so cool how your body works it forms memories like your brain does so you know once you make a neural connection a long-term memory in your brain your it's easy for that thing to flow. You're going to start thinking that way. You're going to start doing that behavior, whatever it is, easily, even non-consciously. Yeah. And your your body is the same. Where if you've you know built tend to build up trauma in your upper body, then it's going to go there more naturally than elsewhere, right? Like exactly. there's muscle memory involved even in where you store trauma. Yeah, um, and that just plays into um, you know people who are very high stress, high anxiety, um, if one of your coping mechanisms is tensing up right here, then you end up, you know, the more that you do something, whether it's a positive or a negative habit, mm -hmm. the more you do something, the more you do that thing, so uh, good. consciously or subconsciously. And so, um, yeah, part of, um, you know, part of chiropractic care is trying to take those habits that aren't aren't great and reverse them yeah. um, because you know the next thing you know you start getting some of that stress work out of your shoulders you know that may be the difference maker in you having being in a good mood or a bad mood mm. um, for the rest of the day and the next day that type wow. of thing yeah and can you just share with everybody what you had told me too during just just a minute ago about you would rather have people do mobility movements than come for their one hour session. Yeah, yeah, and um, you would rather that, have them do it daily. Yeah, and that the big thing with musculoskeletal care, chiropractic care, is the need for um, consistency and repetition. Um, and this is the poor business person in me, but I don't want to see people, no matter. If it's someone I like or, or not. I don't want to see them in my office once a week for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to give them, you know, things to take home with them that they can do on a daily basis because being consistent with something every single day is, is how you build habits. And, you know, that's the same thing I do with my rehab is I try to build, you know, unconscious habits so that way people's, people don't want stress in their traps or, mm -hmm. um, you know, they activate their core or whatever it may be. Um, yeah, that is so good. Actually, that's exactly what I teach my clients, too. Like, if you see me for the one hour, you know, that we have together a week or whatever it is, but you aren't willing to work on these things that I, the homework, you know, yeah. essentially, then 
It doesn't matter how many times you come to see me because I can't do the work for you. Exactly. Which is the same thing that you're same saying for exactly. your body. <laughs> same exactly. That's so good. And actually, you know, a lot of times, like, if, when you're doing those stretches, you're more focused on your body. You're giving it your attention. Yeah. You're breathing into those places of pain or places of, you know, tightness and stuff. And, and that in itself has so many, you know, profound mental health benefits to it. Yeah. So. Yeah, we know for sure, like for example with meditation, you can actually start regulating your body temperature. You know, you can actually control your core temperature through the way that you think your mind is so powerful. And even hearing you talk about how, you know, it's learned to, your body responds to your mind. Where it tells it to store stress, it yeah. forms a pathway and that's where it's gonna go. So I love that you're able to, you know, bring the, that's really why I love chiropractors too is it's like a holistic approach it's yeah. everything you know it's not just your muscles it's not just your skeletal system or your nervous system or whatever it's it's the whole thing even your mind the way you're thinking about stuff has to start changing your habits have to start changing yep. Absolutely. so good what else do you want to share do you have to do you want to share anything else about chiropractic care um, in general i would just one the one bad rep that chiropractors get is that there's a lot of um, people and some of them even you know other um, other chiropractors other MDs that think that being adjusted isn't safe um, and for 99.99% of the population that's just not true even with neck adjustments um, typically what happens when people um, you know when there are things that they say oh the, my chiropractor hurt me or whatever it's because that chiropractor just missed something in the exam and in, in the history that, that should have told him otherwise. Um, if you are 99.99% of the population, adjustments are, are safe for you. And if you are dealing with some sort of um, aches or pains, go see your local chiropractor. Um, they are just as trained as you know physical therapists and, and other um, other practitioners to, to treat you for that pain. Yeah. What are some tips or some questions or some like things that people should look for when they're trying to, what if they don't have a chiropractor? How would they start looking for one? Yeah. Um, big thing um, is to try and find one that aligns with your goals. Mm -hmm. um, so in my setting, obviously I'm a powerlifter. Mm -hmm. This is a I'm associated with a bodybuilding gym, yep. a little bit different, but we also overlap, right? And so it's being able to actually like understand people as a patient. Uh -huh. um, there's a difference between textbook knowledge and there's a difference between um, real life experience, right? Um, and so if you can find one, if you're a marathon runner, if you're mm -hmm. weightlifter or whatever it is, find someone who, who is similar to you because that's gonna give you the best results. Yeah. Um, Another resource, um, and this I'm not. This is not a paid advertising by any means. Um, Forwardthinkingchiro.com um, is a good resource to find a good ethical, reputable chiropractor in your area um, as well. So yeah, yeah. And on that note, um, this is my old gym. I used to go here my own self, which is how I met Wes in the beginning. And Wes actually on his. Um, Paige has like workouts and stuff like has the movements so that when you're lifting because this is a lifting gym you know you're you're not coming to see you and then going out the door and then like picking up weights incorrectly right right and so it's it I like what you're saying about like aligning with the goals and like your lifestyle yeah yeah exactly yes yeah, so and that's that's, it. that's even for that doesn't even necessarily have to pertain to just athletes right, right. Um, you know outside of athletes and lifting and everything like that you can still find someone who aligns with your goals and kind of your lifestyle um, in the same sense that they'll align better and be able to treat you better yeah yeah no that's really good somebody I for me I like somebody who's like kind of gone where I want to go or I am right now yeah. right like you look for that in a coach you look for that I I like to look for that no matter like who I'm you know working with or yeah. um, whatever so I like that advice that's really good um, and 
You can connect with Wes uh, easily if you want to follow him on Instagram, any place. His links are actually in the description of this video, so you can go follow him and connect with him. If you're in Houston, if you're in Texas, come and see him. He, you work at a few different gyms. You have offices at a few different yeah, gyms. Yeah, so I'm here in Cyprus, and I go up to a gym in Katy on Tuesdays, um, as of right now. And then my business partner is actually at a gym in downtown Houston, and then goes out to Baytown as well up there. Wow. So, Okay, they're covering a lot of territory. That's Trying awesome. To. <laughs> Good for y'all. Well, thank you so much, Wes, not just for doing this video with me and sharing with my audience, but for the adjustment as well. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. <laughs> Thanks so much. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next video. That these knots and these little tender spots or trigger points, or however we want to refer to them, are you know, repetitive movement or, you know, repetitive or like long-term posture type things. Wow. Um, and unfortunately they, they form over, a, you know, a long period of time whenever you're not even thinking about them being there. And so because, you know, something like this, it may be a little bit posture and they've formed mm -hmm. over such a long period of time, wow. it's just that much harder for it to for me to go away. That's so interesting because your brain works the exact same way. Yeah. If you make a neural pathway, it's really hard for you to undo it. You have to consciously like pay attention to it or it's never going away. Yep. And that's one of the one of the things I tell people a lot is that, you know, I'll give some people some stretches or some rehab exercises, stuff yeah. like that to take home with them. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell them I would rather much rather you do one set of this every single day than doing an hour worth of rehab once a week because it, wow. it, it takes the repetition and that's exactly uh, how your brain works too yeah wow because it in in a sense um you know chiropractors are musculoskeletal so muscles joints that type of thing mm -hmm. but the nervous system the autonomic nervous system plays a huge role into yes to everything that we do and the way that we feel and totally. the pain that we perceive. Oh yeah. All right, explain the Graston so everyone knows what you're doing. So, instrument assisted. Uh, technically Graston is a, a specific technique. It's the mm -hmm. same thing. They just mm -hmm. have their own um, tools and philosophies behind it. Mm -hmm. um, really the whole thing that we're trying to do with the instrument is just get into the muscles a little bit differently than I can with my hands. Mm -hmm. um, at the root of it, we're trying to kind of um, alter the muscle tone. Um, the more kind of feedback that we can give it, um, the better it's going to respond. Um, just neurologically, mechanically, with um, the fascia that's like the connecting piece between the muscles and the, the skin. Um, and so it just usually the instrument assisted usually just ends up being a little bit more intense than mm -hmm. I, I do with my hands. Right. And do you always use that instrument to do cupping? Or is that by a, the using the instrument is a method by itself? Um, method by itself. Um, a lot of times I do. So a lot of times I do use my hands, my instrument, and the cups mm -hmm. all in one treatment. Mm -hmm. um, just because if I dive straight in with the instrument, it's usually pretty abrasive to start mm -hmm. off with. So I'll kind of um, warm the tissue up with my hands, kind of ease into pressure and those type of things. Um, just so that way we, we get a little bit better experience out of it. And, mm -hmm. um, there's always there's always a good medium between, you know, causing some slight discomfort in an area that's already painful and uncomfortable versus causing so much pain that all you do is tense up the shoulder the whole time that we're treating it and then we've gotten absolutely nowhere. Moving cupping. So, start with just kind of cupping in general. Um, basically does the same thing as my hands or the, the Graston tool or the mm -hmm. instrument assisted wood, um, just by the opposite mechanism. So instead of pressure, we're creating negative pressure, meaning we're 
creating a suction that pulls that skin and the fascia mm. away from the muscle. Um, so I usually start moving the cup um, just so I can make sure that everywhere that needs treatment gets treatment. Mm-hmm. Um, and then typically what I'll do is throw two or three cups on those, you know, the real problem areas and just let those hang out there for a few minutes mm-hmm. uh, to give that extra treatment and that extra stimulus to the areas that, that need it the most. Right. We'll get one right there and do there. Maybe one right there. Mm-hmm. So typically when I work on, that was mostly like upper track shoulder area. Uh, as I'm sure you felt, um, but typically when I work on like the actual neck, I'll flip people over so that way I'm not jamming their face into the, the cushion. <laughs> so kind of you. Big breath in for Side for me. You don't want to hold the gross. <laughs> 